rear end painted. Got the top bushings put in. I wish I kind of would have, wish I would have grabbed the phone. I just kind of got into it and wound up doing it. I used ball joint press. Worked out pretty good. Uh, I got the control arms painted. There's still, the, those need a second coat. I got the springs hanging there. They're painted. And the frame is painted, except for the front half. The front half is going to get torn apart, wire wheeled, cleaned up, all the gunk knocked off of it and painted once the body's back on it. The body is still there. And I've still got more to do to the bottom of that. So, yeah. All in all, I guess, wasn't too terrible of a day. Um, cleaned up some more tools. I only spent a few hours out here. Trying not to spend all day in the shop. I'm trying to actually come out here with a plan, get stuff done, clean up, and if I only get a little bit done, then I only get a little bit done, but it's better than spent. I will come out here, and I will literally spend all day out here, and basically get nothing done. It, it, it's terrible. Um, and, yeah, it's just... It, it sucks. <coughs> uh, so, yeah, I think that's really about it for now. Uh, I purchased me a fan, Rule King, 120 bucks. I'm pretty happy with it. Nice little, nice little fan. Um, do have one spot that I I forgot about. This is down here. Oh, I got some paper towels on the corner. I picked it up, but there's a bad spot right in there. I'm gonna wind up grinding that down and rerolling it. Then I'll touch it back up. But the frame is as soon as I finish painting the control arms which I might hang out for a little bit and try to get the second coat on those. That way, next time I come out, I can try to get the rear end in. Uh, once the rear end's back in it, I can get the body back in here and start doing stuff. All right, we're back. I started getting carried away. Haven't, haven't shown anything yet. Started cutting stuff out. Got, this is the uh, driver's side front body mount. So this piece I did from the top when I did the floor. Again, zoomed in too dang far. Um, we did a did a floor, and I don't know if I really had a chance to show all this. But we did a floor from the the seam up here, the pinch weld, all the way tripping over my cord to back here. I know it does not look the best back here, but you're not gonna see it. It looks really good on the inside. I'll show you guys that later on. This has all been seam sealed. It's been welded where it needs to be welded. Uh, I've still got all this to clean up. This is all, as far as I know, I don't need to do any more rust repair back here. I just need to get it cleaned up so it doesn't rust. Uh, I did all that. I had done this piece, this piece, from the inside uh, same over here which I still got to do some stuff over here it's got I need to do something in here which this is thicker than what was originally there so I can probably get away with just trimming this piece off cleaning this up and massaging that back in and welding that and then seam seal it and then I got to do a little bit up here but this is not as bad as what this side was. Um, driver's sides are always worse. I've got different theories on it. I am going to go through and this section here. I'm going to weld that before I put this piece in. I just got done making this template. Because there was... You can kind of see it on that side. There was another piece here. But you see it's, it's missing from here. I made this piece. I still got to put a hole in it. But it's going to go up in here. 
not like so. And I, I did make it a little wide so it squeezes in there and I actually want to do that. That way I can weld it along here, across here, all the way down, and then I'm gonna weld it all the way around here. I gotta, gotta trim the front of this off yet. And, and then I'm gonna weld them down through here. I got a couple plug welds to do there. Same thing over here. Um, I need to clean this up because we this was all done a year ago. Um, we got some of the stuff done so I could, it got stuck on this cart and wrapped in a tarp so we could get some other stuff done. So, yeah. And then the firewall. I really need to do something with the firewall. I am not putting a factory heater box in this car. I have already decided. They're ugly. They're massive. Honestly, for right now, the wife's just going to have to go without heat or air. Uh, it's not going to get driven in the wintertime, so she doesn't really need the heat. Eventually, after the car is done, because I can go back and do stuff after the car is done, I need to stop. If, if I try to do everything in order the right way, I, I'll never have the car done. So, I'm going to do what I need to do, what has to be done. And the car's going to go back together. Get it running. You know, I would love to do a rear disc conversion on it. I even considered, it's, it's not going to be a hot rod, but I even considered doing the aftermarket control arms on the rear end. Does it need it? No. I did do all new bushings, but it doesn't, it really it doesn't need any more than that. But it's back together. I've got very few, very little into doing what I did to that already. As far as doing like rear disc, a year or two down the road, I can have some more money saved up. I can buy the stuff. I can pull it in. I can be driving i can pull it in here on a weekend do a rear disc conversion on it and she can have it back again that's the plan anyway uh i was gonna try to set the camera up but i like listening to my music so well uh i just keep touching back uh so everything's pretty self-explanatory right now so if i run into something that i need to it needs to be shown or i think it needs to be shown then we'll uh come back otherwise i'm just going to do some more work touch base maybe i don't know maybe i'll do try to do a time lapse or something i don't know i just hate it because i don't know how to pull the sound out of it or certain sounds out and leave the others because I like having music on is what keeps me sane and YouTube doesn't like music unless I use their music which actually if I figure that out that's something I can do so yeah we'll work on that
could use a sponsor. But anyways, uh, I got a phone call in the middle of that, so I just went back to fighting with it. I probably should have went through and cut this other piece off. But I got they're all welded here. I got my piece in. They, these welds are ugly, but they're good. I'll knock them. I'm not gonna grind them down flush. I'm not trying to make it look super pretty. Uh, it'll be just just knock them down so they're not tall. Uh, the frame does run through there, but I've got. I've got plenty of clearance, so that's not an issue. I went ahead, I filled in where the brake cable used to come out for the parking brake. Uh, I'm hoping I'm right on this one. I think that one's for the hood release cable, so I don't want to fill that one. I still don't know what I'm doing with the firewall, because the firewall's hideous, I hate it, but I don't know what I can do with it. But filled that one in, yes, it looks boogered, but I put a bunch of weld on it so I can grind it down and make it look better. Uh, if you see me shaking my head, it's because I forgot something. This piece here that has wires in it, I now have wires I need to fix because it got a little warm. So, but I got some plastic in, seeped into that seam, so that, that should be a good, uh, good rust preventative there. Ah. Uh, there's so much to do yet. But my main focus this week is I want to get the bottom of the car done and ready. I don't, I, I probably could have held off on that. I don't know if it would have been easy to get to from with it on the frame or not. Uh, I might go through and try to trim up this pinch weld a little bit um i folded it over because on my buddy's money he didn't fold his and it is a pain to get to the uh bell housing bolts without tearing your your knuckles up but anyways this side is done there's no more welding i need to do on this side I'm pretty sure I will go through and double check, but I'm pretty sure. Now, I need to come over to this side. I'm gonna have to raise it back up, double check some stuff. It's not as invasive as what I did over there, so I'm not gonna bother recording it. But, this is what we're looking at before. And I'll go through and get this cleaned up. That looks worse than what it really is. It's not that bad. We're gonna get that cleaned up. Hopefully I don't have to do a piece like I did on the other side. We'll see. Um, yeah. This is uh, where we're at right now. Oh, I got carried away. Um, I'm gonna need a light. There. This, maybe this will work. I don't know. Hold on, bear with me. So, got a little carried away. It is just about ready. I missed a spot there. That's okay, I gotta get some more undercoating. Yeah, I missed a spot there too. Wow, that's a big spot. Yeah, that's why you let it dry. You don't just throw it together. Missed a spot there. Wow, I missed a bunch on this. Holy cow. I can't really see it without the camera. But, anyways, from here up front, I got a. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a, I mean, I might have to get some more undercoating. Spray that. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's really close to being ready to go back on the frame. I want to spray a coating in here. I don't know if it's really a good idea to actually do it, but I got to figure out what I need to buy to actually put in it. Um, because it's got a little wand I can dig down the frame rails and actually spray inside a box frame. Uh, but hopefully I come out tomorrow. It's Friday tomorrow, Saturday. Hopefully I come out tomorrow. I've got to have paint everywhere. So I started off, I sprayed, I, I sanded the whole bottom of the floor, uh, just scuffed it and I yeah brain fart uh, sprayed I bought some uh, rust encapsulator from Eastwood I got worried I thought it actually went bad but I made up a uh, I made up a little a little doodad out of a bolt and a piece of sheet metal so I could mix it up and it, it seemed like it came back, so I was a little worried it sat on the shelf for too long. Uh, yeah, sprayed that like two or three coats over the whole bottom of the floor, everything that was new, and all the way back to here because everything else I was going to have a heck of a time trying to get it clean. Like even this stuff, I'm I'm just going to go through and blow it off. I'm not even going to try to scrape it. It's got some real nasty undercoating up over here. I thought it was rust. No, it's like some really nasty tar undercoating. I'm just going to go over top of it. I scraped some of it off over here and it was clean underneath. So yeah, I, uh, hopefully I picked up bolts. So hopefully, uh, I get another, I get one more, let a coat of undercoating on it. That sounds weird to say. One more coat of undercoating. And it was I get one more of those on there, and I think it's ready to go on. I'm thinking tomorrow I'm gonna be setting a body on and bolting it down. So hopefully we'll see something tomorrow. It's Monday now. I come out here do a little bit of work for. I get to go home, take a nap, and go back to work because, you know, unfortunately, I got to do that. But after a long uh, day, so hold on. Here. So I, I I went online and there is I could order body bolts for this car. And it, uh, this is like 40 bucks or something like that. And I'm like, well, it's not bad, but I kind of wanted to get them. I, I can run up here locally and get them. So I looked through some forums and I found out, or I found like two or three different forums that said you needed their 10, 10 by 1.5 millimeter bolts that are the main ones you need are... 80 millimeters long so that's what I went and bought it worked for two of them and that was that one and what was the other one it was that one actually I think it was only one but anyway <coughs> The rest of them weren't long enough, so I went back and I bought and some 100 millimeter long bolts, and I wound up just using the 100s, and it everything lined up fine. I was fighting with this thing for probably two hours yesterday, trying to get these body bolts in to get it bolted down, and couldn't get it. It just wouldn't go. Finally, I get to looking, and yeah, it, the bolts aren't long enough. So. We got that done. It's all bolted down now the way it should be.
Yes, I know I still have to run brake lines and stuff, which I am not. That doesn't concern me. I'll be able to get that done. Uh, everything's all still nice and painted. Rear end's got some scratches on it. We'll, we'll touch that up. This, it's, the, it's the nice thing about doing it black. It's not, we're not fancy, we're not doing powder coat, we're not doing anything like that. So what we can do is, you know, we're, say we're done working it back here. Take some spray paint and fucking hit it all up. Which actually, I missed a bunch of spots on that coil. I thought I got the whole thing. Oh well. It'll clean up. I got some dirt on there from where I was jacking up the body to move the body mounts around. But, finally, after a year-ish, something like that, the body's back on. Even though originally I wanted to have this thing done, like, last Tuesday, I wanted to be driving. Obviously, we didn't quite make that. I still... I'm torn on what's going in it for a motor. I've got an LS sitting back there that was planned the whole time. And now I am second guessing it. So, yeah. Don't, not sure what we're going to do yet. But, I guess we got something accomplished. Now we need to get it back on the ground, go back inside, start cleaning up the inside. And... Go from there. So, I don't know how long that video, this video is going to be. But that'll wrap it up. So, till next time.